The Holiday Inn Express of Pittsburgh has flexible meeting spaces, complimentary internet access, a free hot breakfast bar in the morning, and an indoor pool that the whole family will enjoy. Come book a room at the newest hotel in Pittsburgh, the Holiday Inn Express. So it's coming out, you know, at the beginning of the game. Um, what did you expect to see from you guys, and what, what did you see? What did you guys do well? Or what did you do? Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest with you, after the last three games. Um, I thought they'd come out and be aggressive, which we were early, but um, Northeast is such a tenacious team. I mean, they're very physical, they're very quick, they're athletic. Um, they get after you. Uh, we didn't handle that part of it very well, 16 turnovers first half. I mean, you tell me how I felt. I mean, I, I, how would anybody feel? That's more than what you should have for a game, and to have that in a half was a little disappointing. And I thought they imposed their will on us, but I did think we were really good defensively. I thought that kept us in the game. That allowed us um, to uh, um, make some mistakes. It allowed us a little bit of wiggle room. And, and we, you know, when they got up six on us there early in the first half, I thought we did a good job of responding and able to take the lead into halftime. I thought that was important. Uh, Trey continued to give you guys a spark off the bench. Uh, how, big of a, how big was he today, and then how big of a weapon do you think he'll be? Today? Well, I think he just gives us depth at the guard spot, and he's a uh, – He's a good on-ball defender and, and, and good on the defensive end, but he's, he's such a physical presence inside, and when he gets in the paint and, and, and can score, and just a tough matchup uh, physically. Uh, and he did a nice job tonight. I thought he gave us a good lift, and uh, he, he's still trying to figure some things out, and you know, he makes some mistakes, but if he'll go hard and play through that, then you know, those are mistakes we can live with. And, uh, because he does, he does just give us another dimension, and he played well. In my opinion tonight, the most complete game was by Devon. I thought both ends of the floor, he was really good. Um, it was good to see him just stay engaged, you know, for a whole game. I didn't think he, he, he didn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. He, uh, he was positive both, both ways, and, and I thought he really did a nice job. Now, a little bit early, he kind of went that way, but he did a good job responding, and credit to him. Uh, I'm very proud of him. I thought he had the most complete game of anybody on the team. Coach, you talked about uh, the first half and the turnovers. Um, coming out of the second, you guys went on an eight to three run. How big was that to establish yourself in the first five minutes? Well, and we, yeah, we always talk about the first five exactly, and, and guys did a good job of that. Couldn't tell you what plays happened. I just thought we were really good defense. I, you know, we we really took a, took them out of what they wanted to do. I think it turned, your defense turned into a lot fast break. It did, and especially you know when we we got started getting separation, um, it did, and then did a nice job on the glass too. I don't know what the final um, numbers were. Uh, 28, 29, but I thought we did a pretty good job um, rebounding wise, uh, especially late. You know, when we needed to get them, uh, we got it, stuck our nose in there and got them. So I was, I was proud of that. And uh, then um, midway through, they switched to a uh, full court pressure on you guys. Um, uh, they, got the, they got it down to tie, and they never ended up taking the lead. How did you guys respond to that, um, uh, being able to uh, hold off that pressure and still hold that lead out? You're talking about the first half or second half? Second. When they came back on us, yeah. Um, we went to a little bit different press breaker, um, tried to space them out, brought our guys from half court to catch, which opens up your guards to cut a little more, and, and it, it did free us up a little bit. Um, we just, and I, I told Eddie this on the radio, it doesn't matter what you run. It, it's not a matter of, um, you know, the, the biggest thing against pressure like that is your space, and you got people coming back to the ball, and there's always an outlet. But when we continue to put ourselves at half court right across the court, you know, right across the timeline, and you put yourself in a deep corner, and then we did it in zone two, we put ourselves, you know, down there along the baseline, got trapped a couple times, and you, you're going to turn it over, and you're going to, or you're going to make bad decisions from there. And we just kept putting ourselves in bad, bad situations, and, and we froze the ball a little bit. And, but once we kind of got going and, and got back to some transition, it, it, it helped us, you know, I think it helped our aggressiveness defensively, and then we were able to create some offense with our defense. And then, uh, like you started out the first half, you ended the game strong in the last six yeah. minutes. Uh, how big was that for you guys to, uh, I guess, close out? It was like a, what did you have, a 26 to 14 run over the last six minutes, 15 to 8 over the last three. I mean, you really sealed that win strong. Yeah. Well, it was good to get in transition. Like I said, get Devon going a little bit. Um, uh, Trey had a nice dunk in transition. And, and then I thought we did, I thought we really stepped up defensively. And that allowed some transition to happen. James turned it over, you know, they're late a couple times, but I thought his aggressiveness lends itself to us being successful in transition. And he's got that ability just to blow presses up a lot of times. And when he does that, boy, it really, um, it really 
that makes us good because he's a good passer and he puts that ball where it needs to be. Uh, last week on the radio, you talked about uh, your athleticism um, in the transition game. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think you guys are, uh, at least tonight anyway, do you guys think you improved in that transition game? Uh, whereas uh, you guys yeah. actually uh, get to the rim with success? I'll have to look at film, but 26 turnovers tells me no. Um, I or 24, I guess. Yeah, 24 turnovers. Or, what were we, 21? Man, my eyes are getting bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> 21. 21 turnovers tells me no. Uh, but a lot of those occurred in the first half. Like I said, 16 in the first half. But the second half, we were a little bit better. So maybe, you know, it's such a catch-22 for us because when we're and, – and maybe I put too much stock into um, statistics sometimes, but – you know, synergy rates you out, they kind of where you're at, and, and we're, we're not even good in transition. I mean, we're like like as, as medium as you can be okay, you know, and, and we're not even uh, scratching the surface of what we're capable of and what we have athletically to be able to take advantage of that. And so it's kind of a catch-22. You want to do that, but we haven't shown that we're good in that. But tonight, you know, especially in the second half, we showed that we could do it. So um, I think it depends on the team you're playing and the personnel you're up against as well. But we got to value the ball better, and we got to take care of it. And then, uh, without the mind tonight, uh, made a little bit of size advantage down there in the paint. Uh, you guys actually used second chance points to get that going there in the final six minutes. How big was that for you guys to attack the boards there on offense and uh, get those second chance? Points? Yeah, um, Devon got one, Connor got one. Um, you know, those guys got in there, stuck their nose in there, and were, were aggressive. And it's just a matter of being aggressive. You know, it, <laughs> If you stand there and watch, not a lot of good things are going to happen. But if you'll stick your nose in there, and, and which we're, we're, we've been pretty good about, then good things usually will come. And, and so we'll continue to be aggressive and, and assert ourselves. And um, you know, I'm just excited about this opportunity to play Lindenwood again. I think you know, after we, we lost to them here, I told our guys, I said, we're going to play them again. And, you know, I just walked in the locker room and said, we're going to have another shot at this team. And I didn't know why I said that or what led me to say that, but um, here we sit. And, so two, you know, a month and a half ago, I was saying that, and now it's true, and uh, we'll be ready for them. We'll be ready for them. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, how nice is it to just, you know, be back in Kansas City this time? Last year, the season was over. How sure. nice is it not having, you know, be on the recruiting trail and focus on winning one? I think it's great. Um, I told the guys last night in practice, you know, we, we came off three pretty difficult, mentally difficult losses, and I told them last night, I said, hey, there was two teams not in practice tonight, and – there's four of them that aren't. They don't have home games. So if we're one of the four. We worked hard to get this home game, and we can't change, you know, uh, the bye. And, and as bad as we were playing, to be honest with you, it's probably a good thing we didn't have a bye, because I would hate to go up there and, and see what we look like with no competition prior to that game. Now we need some rest too, but hey, this this time of season, you you don't need rest. You you just soon play, and uh, kind of make the adjustments, do what you can along the way. Uh, Sam, in the three-game uh, streak, uh, losing streak there, how what's the uh, morale like after a game like this? Oh, I think they'll be pretty excited. I mean, this is this is what we wanted. Um, we made the tournament, and then we wanted to get to Kansas City. And as we reassessed our goals, you know, a couple uh, actually it was last week, um, you know, one of the things was win the conference tournament, and we took one step towards that tonight. Now we got a little bit longer to go, but it's next game and next guy up, and we'll be ready for it. You feel like being in Kansas City, going up there, uh, will elevate you guys, you know, a little more pressure, a little more excitement? I hope so. I think we can play better than what we've played here recently. Um, I think we're going to have to play better, especially against a team like Linwood. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity. I know our guys are excited. They're hungry. Um, they feel like they have something to prove. Uh, we use the mantra of being Pig 10th all year and um, kind of as, as motivation for us. And, Hey, let's keep let's keep plugging away. And I would like to add too. You know, I think um, I'm very very proud, very happy for Josiah and Devon and Javis. What a great honor um, for our program and for those three young men and the body of work they did this season. Uh, couldn't couldn't happen to, to better kids. They work hard, and uh, it's good to see them be recognized and rewarded. So very happy for that. And as for you, how does it feel to be honored with Coach McCall for coach co coach of the year? Um, you know, it's uh, number one, peers, it, it being recognized by your peers is, says a lot. And I'm, I'm very honored and very humbled by that. Uh, secondly, I'll say, you know, the glory in, uh, of anything that I receive and honor wise goes to God. I'm, I'm, my, I know where my strength lies. It's, it's a big part of who I am um, and, and part of my success. Uh, also, 
my assistant coaches, um, you know, they do a heck of a job. I mean, they coach their tails off. And, uh, you know, both Ryan and, and Preston deserve this honor. And then probably more importantly than that is our team <coughs> players. So you can't do it without players. You can't do it without, without the right guys willing to dedicate themselves. And so I'm very, very happy and uh, for them and our fans. And our band was great tonight. I told our guys, get out there, thank the band. They did a great job. And um, it is a good good day to be a gorilla. So we're excited about it. Coach, what do you tell your guys about um, the atmosphere and stuff in Kansas City? Because nobody on this team other than Denton. Same. Yeah, Denton, that's right. Has yeah. experienced that. Yep. Before, um, what well, you tell them? And the last time you were there, you made a little run. Yeah, we did. Um, we made a big run. I had, had a chance. Um, we, uh, you know, it's 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 a little different than playing here. Um, it's a uh, it's more of a uh, an NCAA tournament atmosphere. Um, you know, it's not overly loud, but you, you get all your KC Gorilla Club people up there and they come to the game. and So that, that part of it is exciting. And uh, um, getting to see some people that maybe you can't make it to games on a usual basis, so that'll be fun to play in front of them. And then be up there with our girls. You know, our girls had a great season and, and it's good to have two teams up there representing Pittsburgh State. A lot of good things are happening here and, and we just want to continue it. And, you know, we, we, we're not gonna get too wrapped up in it. We'll get up there, uh, be ready to go Thursday early afternoon and make the best of it. We'll, we'll come out and we'll play hard, I guarantee you that. Did you guys, uh, you know, in the first half, did you guys play with any more sense of urgency than you normally do, or did you just, you know, try to go out there and play, you know, a normal game? Uh, you got you. Um, really, that first half, uh, we kind of got loose with the ball. So, uh, coach got on us a little bit. We we had to pick it up and uh, keep it tight. And, um, yeah, pretty much just have a sense of urgency for where guys were at, because they were going to be there um, scrapping and, you know, there was a lot of that tonight, so. I don't remember what it was. I think it was 16, 16 turnovers in the first half. You guys, uh, was, that, was that something that was talked about at halftime? So what did Coach tell you at halftime? Uh, yeah, it was a lot of turnovers, a lot of nerves, a lot. People was too focused. And the coaches told us to loosen up and uh, stop turning the ball over before we uh, start running them and doing push-ups on the sideline. So we just focused in and just told each other, like, yo, it's time to go. It's either one to go home, no more turnovers. Midway through the second half, you know, you guys started to pull away, started to play a little looser. What, what clicked with you guys? What were you doing? Uh, we was getting stops. When we get stops on defense, we just automatically be electric on offense. We'll run faster, we'll crash harder, and when we do that, like we're really like unstoppable. Uh, what a, what a, what do you guys really think between both of you need to uh, work on before you head up to Kansas City? Uh, defense, defense, and get a lot of shots up because once we play defense, we're really hard to beat. Yeah, play for uh, 40 minutes till the horn goes off, you know. Um, we kind of strung it out there at the second half, but if we can do that in the first half and make our offense more efficient, then we'll be a great team. You talk about that dunk you had, but at that point, it kind of seemed like, you know, you guys were in control of things. Yeah, adrenaline's going. Um, kind of got out on a fast break, and I'd say James probably got fouled before he threw that ball, but <laughs> I still would have got it, so it was a great play. How good does it feel to you know, get rid of a losing streak and, you know, earn your way to Kansas City? Oh yeah, man, it's a, it's an awesome feeling, guys. You know, in the locker room, ain't everything down. So, but at the same time, you know, we haven't forgot about those three losses. So, you know what it feels like. Keep us hungry. Yep. And then uh, Tarwa coming on the first five minutes, Devon. Uh, you guys took a one point lead and a half. Uh, you guys came out to an eight three run, kind of established you guys some mm -hmm. offensively, got to the break a little bit. Uh, how big was that for you guys' team um, to come out and uh, really get that lead uh, heading into? last 15 minutes of the game? Uh, it was pretty big for us because we've been struggling for like the last four games on offense. Our shooters been hesitant because shots haven't been falling, but we believe in them. We tell them, go shoot. You got to shoot it, we go rebound it. And if you make it, you make it, you miss, we're going to scrap for it. And if we don't get it, we're going to go down and get a stop. So it was really big for us, for them to start knocking down shots. And talking about the, uh, getting the offensive boards, um, you guys just run around uh, seven minutes close to the game, starting with a couple of uh, second chance opportunities. Um, how big was that for you guys to be able to uh, grab those offensive boards for put back and end up, I believe, finished like on a 26 to 14 run to close out the game? It was pretty big for us. We know we was a bigger team in the inside, so we hammered that in practice. We had to crash four to the offensive glass and one back every time. So I think we executed the plan to that one. How much you guys looking forward to getting up and playing against City? 
Uh, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. Uh, this is my last year to play with my guys before I go try to make a career of this. So I'm pretty stoked about going to KC and playing for Pitt State. You got, you got Lindenwood, a team that you know came in here, beat you guys, I think, about two months ago. They shot a lot of threes. What, what do you remember about that game, and what do you, do you think you need to work on going to that one? Uh, defense, running them off the three-point line. As you said, they did shoot a higher three percentage on us. and. Uh, I guess we're going to go to the drawing board tomorrow, start watching film and figuring out a way to stop them from shooting threes. Uh, Devon, I guess something getting lost in today is um, your postseason honors for you and Coach Josiah and Javis. Um, talk a little bit about what it means um, to you guys to have the respect of the other coaches in the league to receive those awards and uh, make some teams that traditionally do didn't get as many on the teams as uh, it means a lot to us. Coming from last year, uh, we was we wasn't pretty good. We was picked last, and it just shows how much we came together and like worked in the summertime and in the off season. And when the season came, we just stayed together and kept going and going and going. And it starts in practice where we get after each other. I mean, we might be brothers, but when we step on that court, is I want your spot, and I'm gonna let you know I want your spot. So that I think that brought it brought it out of us for, to get uh, all American mentions and the co coach of the year. Trey, you know, kind of coming in, you know, towards the middle of the season, and do you feel like you guys have kind of smoothed everything out, and you, you know, you're working, working into the lineup? And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll probably, um, I'll probably stay on the bench for you know the rest of our season, but uh, coming off the bench, uh, I'm, something I'm getting used to right now, and uh, just gonna, you know, try to stay in the rhythm and fit in, and uh, I got a lot of a lot of ways to go still. So. Keep giving us a spark off the bench. Comfort Inn of Pittsburgh offers a cozy, welcoming room with free internet access. Enjoy the indoor pool area year-round and wake up to a complimentary breakfast every morning. When staying at the Comfort Inn, you can feel at ease knowing that your satisfaction is the most important thing to us.